The standard 1250 package has the following items. The serial number plate, pressure regulator lubricator filter, inline check, discharge pressure gauge, pressure relief valve, Cali gauge or sight gauge for a flow, and the Y strainer for the suction side. Begin operating the pump package. Open the block valve on the air or gas supply line. Set your regulator to 100 PSI. Once set, tighten the lock nut. Start the pump by turning the needle valve on the pump counterclockwise several times to get the pump to start stroking. Next, adjust the oil rate lubricator approximately one to two drops using a flat head screwdriver. Bleeding the pump. Loosen the bleed screw using a 7 16 wrench. Let it pump until the flow is pulsing through the bleed screw. Once the air is bled and a solid stream is visible, tighten the bleed screw just enough until the chemical no longer flows. Setting the PRV. First relief system pressure. Using two three quarter wrenches, hold the cap with one and use the other to loosen the inner line. Speed up the pump by loosening the needle valve. Close the discharge line block valve. This will allow pressure to build up. To increase set pressure, tighten cap as needed. To decrease set pressure, loosen cap as needed. Once you have desired pressure, lock down the inner lock nut. Finally, open the discharge block valve. Calibrating the pump flow rate. Open the calibration block valve and fill the calibration gauge. Watch as the gauge fills. Have the pump run while being supplied by the calibration gauge. Do a test for one minute. As the gauge draws down in one minute, note the flow rate on the gauge. Increase or decrease the speed of the pump depending on the flow rate required. Refill the gauge and retest to ensure desired flow rate is achieved. Use the results from the calibration gauge and convert to flow rate per day. Calibrating pump flow rate is now complete. Close the calibration block valve and open suction block valve. You are now ready to operate the pump package.